We have all sung with our sisters and brothers. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And be your spirit, beloved sisters and brothers, we gather this afternoon to celebrate the Holy Eucharist and to witness the time of glory between Paolo and Christina. This afternoon, we remind them also that they are called to a life of fidelity as husband and wife. Let us therefore rejoice with them and ask God's blessing for them and for their future children. Sisters and brothers, to begin with us now, ask the Lord to bless us from our sins, making ourselves worthy to celebrate in this Eucharist. You were sent to him the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to all sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be attentive to our prayers, O Lord, and in your kindness, uphold what you have established for the increase of the human race so that the union you have created between paulo and christina may be kept safe by your assistance through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen please be seated for the liturgy of the word of Genesis. Then the Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he could call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all of the cattle all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals. But man proved to be suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man. And while he was asleep, he took one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a man the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, said, This is one at last, is bone from my bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for our of her man, this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother, and cleaves to his wife, and the two of them became one body. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, it was a response be, Happy are those who fear the Lord. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Happy are you who fear the Lord, who walk on His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handwork. Happy you who be in favor. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like fruitful vine in the recess of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. Behold, that in the man, blessed who fear the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Response. Happy are those who fear the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Beloved, be subordinate to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives should be subordinate to their husbands as, for, as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of his wife, just as Christ is the head of the church. He himself the savior of the body, as the church is subordinate to Christ. So wives should be subordinate to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives 
even as Christ loved the church and handed himself over for her. Husband should love their, love their wives as their own bodies. He who, he who loves his wife loves himself. For this reason, a man shall leave father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become, become one flesh. This great mystery, but I speak in reference to Christ and the Church. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all thank the Lord, Holy Master. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees approached him and tested him, saying, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause whatsoever? He said in reply, Have you not heard that from the beginning the Creator made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife? and the two shall become one flesh. Therefore, so they are no longer two, but one flesh. What God has joined together, no human being must separate. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This is it for a while, my dear friends. Just a reminder for both Paolo and Christina. I do believe that you're already civilly married. Congratulations. But you, you have brought together yourself in this altar of the Lord for the second time. But listen to us, God's blessing. I also ex want to extend, not only for both of you, my congratulatory address, but for your parents as well. Mr. and Mrs. Gan, Kyung Hea, congratulations. Mr. and Mrs. Solitario, um, Congratulations, Paul, because you are you brought together these two fine men and lady in front of the altar this afternoon. Now, that means you came here bringing one child, but you will go out of this church having two children. That means, kapag meron po sila hindi pagkakaunawaan, wala na kayong pwedeng kampihan sa kanila. Both of them became your child this very day. And that was a good reason for all of us to thank for this is the last wedding in this church this year. This is the last wedding this year in this church. But this is the first wedding who had begun the ceremony earlier than it that is scheduled at time. And though I asked a while ago, Paolo, Lananta. I said, Ha, ganun pala mga Chinese, maagang maaga. Sabi ko nga sa sarili ko, buti pa itong last wedding na ito, pinakamaaga sa scheduled wedding this year. And I hope next year will be the, will be the same for everything. You set the standard, Paolo and Christina. You set the standard that indeed the solemnity of this wedding will be marked and be remembered in this church. And I congratulate you for that. Now let us go to the reminder. Paolo and Christina, this is the very first day of the rest of your life. But I need to remind you some things for you to be, to be reminded of after this wedding. It will only take 30 minutes perhaps. But the, the short time that this ceremony will take, the longer message for both of you to take. Paolo, always love your wife. Make her happy. Happy wife, happy life. Lonely wife, stone called misery for the rest of your life. Remember this song, Tweedy Bob and Bob Waya. And for you, um, Christina, always listen to your husband, Paolo. Listen to every word that he says. And always 
he remember to make and help him to become a gentleman because only a gentleman could treat his wife a queen. There are a lot of sayings about this wedding, but I do believe for both of you it was destiny. You are destined to be here this afternoon with your friends. You are destined to be here this afternoon to be in this church, not only because you just wanted to be well, but you were asked to bless your wedding with the presence of God. I assure you of my prayers and our prayers here and the prayers of your loved ones, the prayers of the people who gathered here, not only to witness this wedding, but for both of you to have a happy life, for you to have indeed a fulfilled life as a couple. May I intend therefore to remind you of the saying in the words of Christ, love one another. Always stick to that, Paolo and Christina, and do not change it. Always love one another, not another one. Because if you change that, hindi maganda, no? Hindi maganda palalabasan. And so, Mr. and Mrs. Paolo Nicogan, I now indeed would like to go ahead and proceed to the right of this marriage that you may finally be wed and assure you not only of our support for both of you, but our prayers. Sooner or later you will have your children. May you also extend and leave behind the legacy of what had happened here this afternoon. May I ask you please stand. May I ask Mr. and Mrs. Khan, Mr. and Mrs. Khan, please come forward. May I ask also the um, principal sponsor to this come forward. Dear beloved Paolo and Christina, you are here today to see your love with an eternal bond before the church and I assure you of our prayers of this Christian community that God pour his abundant blessing on your love and help you carry out the duties of the marriage estate. And as for you, my dear brothers and sisters, please pray for them and accept them as a new couple in our Christian community. May I now ask you to answer truthfully the following questions. Christina, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband, Paolo? Yes, Father. Paolo, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife, Christina? Yes, Father. And are you both ready to raise as good Christians the children whom God will give you? Yes, Father. Therefore, Paolo and Christina, since you wish to contract holy matrimony by the blessing of the church, please face each other. Join your hands together and express your intention before God and His Church. Christina, do you think Paulo here present for your natural husband according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to him as his wife? Yes, I do. And do you accept him as your lawful loving husband? Yes, I do. Paulo, do you take Christina here present? for your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to her as her husband? Yes, I do. And do you accept her as your lawful loving wife? Yes, I do. Please recite the, the nuptial prayer for both of you. May I ask, O Lord, to be one of our and one of and I, by the authority of the church, calling on all those here present as witnesses, confirm and bless the bond of marriage which you have just contracted in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we shall bless your rings and our rays. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The rings and our rays, please.
Paolo, you go first. Bless, O oh Lord, these rings, so that your servants, Paolo and Christina, who wear them, may ever live in mutual love and in unbroken loyalty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Paolo, please repeat after me. Mention the name of your wife, Christina. Wear this ring, Wear this ring. as a sign of my love. Sign of my love and fidelity, and fidelity. in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father. and of the Son, and of the, Son. And of the Holy Spirit, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Christina, oh no. Wear this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Now, Paolo, hand over the array to the open hands of your wife. Please repeat after me. Christina, I give you this array as a pledge of my dedication to your welfare in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your response, Christina, I accept. So whatever Paulo has will also be for Christina. Pera mo, pera niya. Pera niya. Sa kanya lang. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce Paolo and Christina, husband and wife. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> parents and godparents, please return to your seat. Let us proceed to the prayers of the faithful and continue to pray for our newly wedded couple, Paolo and Christina, whose marriage reflects the bond of. Uh, the union of Christ and His Church. And for every petition that our prayer be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Please all stand. Let us pray for the Church, which is the Bride of Christ, that she may always be faithful in her mission of spreading the good news of our salvation and Christ's God, Christ's love for us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our government leaders that they may become God's instrument in protecting the family and defend life at all costs. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for all needs of our brothers and sisters, the sick, the handicapped, and the prisoners, and all those abandoned by their loved ones, that through their presence in our community, we may enlighten and show our charity with love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Paolo and Christina, united today in God's love, founding a new family in our Christian community. May they become God's faithful steward and collect collaborators of God's reign in their future children, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our young people who will embrace the vocation of married life that they may learn from life and experiences of others and beauty of love that comes from generosity. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, look down with favor upon your servants Paulo and Christina. Grant them to remain faithful to you and to one another. At the end of a long and well-spent life, reward them with eternal happiness together with their children. And with all those who love them, grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the, for the liturgy of the Eucharist. May I request the Father sponsor to light the bridal candles to be followed shortly by the very important sponsor.
So please continue to pray, beloved friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the fall of His holy church. Please all rise. Receive, we pray, O Lord, this offering make on the occasion of the sealing of the sacred bond of marriage between Paulo and Christina. And just as your goodness is its origin, May your providence guide its course through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your love spirit. up your hearts. We lift them up to Let the us Lord. give thanks to the Lord our God. Be it right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have forged the covenant of marriage as a sweet yoke of harmony and an unbreakable bond of peace, so that the chaste and fruitful love of holy matrimony may serve to increase the children you adopt as your own. By your providence and grace, O Lord, you accomplish the wonder of this twofold design, that while the bird of children brings beauty to the world, the river in baptism gives increase to the church, through Christ our Lord. Through him with the angels and all the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as we doubt and we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Please all rise. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your pilgrim church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Honesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. that in his kindness he may favor with his help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. A moment of silence, please, for the nuptial blessing. Holy Father, maker of the whole world who created man and woman in your own image and will that their union be crowned with your blessing, we humbly beseech you for this your servants who are joined today in the sacrament of matrimony. May your abundant blessing, Lord, come down upon this bride, Christina, and upon Paulo Nico, her companion for life. May the power of your Holy Spirit set their hearts aflame from on high, so that living out together the gift of matrimony, they may adorn their family with children and enrich the church. In happiness, O oh Lord, May they praise you in sorrow. May they seek you out. May they have the joy of your presence to assist them in their toil and know that you are near to comfort them in their need. Let them pray to you in the Holy Assembly and bear witness to you in the world. And after a happy old age together with their circle of friends and with their children that surrounds them, may they come to the kingdom of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, Lord, but look with favor on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and love of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share to one another the peace and love of Christ. Peace be with you all, my dear friends.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Peace on me. My dear friends, here is our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those who invited to receive you at the blessing of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on the same word and my soul shall be here. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. sacrifice, O Lord, accompany with your loving favor, what in your providence you have instituted, so as to make of one heart and love those you have already joined in this holy union, and be replenished with the one bread and the one chalice, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Paolo and Christina, now that you have already received the sacrament of matrimony, I admonish both of you to always remain faithful to each other. Please also live with each other with gratefulness. You know, to remember is to be grateful. Don't ever forget this day. Because gratefulness is the language of love. My final admonition for both of you, Paolo and Christina. In the event that after this wedding, you find it difficult to say, Ko Aini. Please always say, Ko Be thankful for each other. Be thankful to God that He gave you each other. Be thankful to your parents. Be thankful to your friends. Because gratefulness is the language of love. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless and keep you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Paolo Nico and Christina Gann. Let's give them a round of applause.
Christina, you may now lift your veil. You may now kiss your groom. For the first thing, please get ready, parents of the break. Thank 
Let's please get ready, siblings of the break. Siblings of the break, please get ready. Now we will request the siblings of the break. Please bring the proper for the photo up. Followed by in laws of the brain. Please get ready in laws of the brain. Let's maybe request the in laws of the brain. Please take the couple for the photo off. <laughs> 